Hey, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures, and I'm back with another holiday gift guide idea for you parents out there. This time, I am going with some Geomag toys. This is part of their mechanics line. They sent me two sets for free. They sent me the shoot and catch set and the gravity motor set. These are really very, very cool things. They are all run by magnets. You don't have to add any batteries or anything like that. Magnets are gonna propel this to do all sorts of different things. So I'm gonna set this one up and show you how it works. I've been playing with this over an hour. Uh, what I've built here is not in the instructions because what I did is I grabbed the instructions I completely didn't look at this top page here, where it says there are two things that you can build. I built this one, uh, which is the magnetic track, and went all the way through that. And then when I got to, when I got to the finished part at the end here, there was still more to go. And I flipped the page, and it was for the other one. So there was the shoot and catch. And so what I did is I kind of combine them. I made my own thing. So I started out with the magnetic, the magnetic maze. And what that does is if I put one of these magnetic balls here and it goes around the track, it will shoot a ball around the track and the, the track will then, the ball will then come back down and it'll either go down to the, out to the side and get caught. Or if I'm paying attention and doing things quick enough, I can keep, ah, see, not quick enough. If I do it quick enough, I can keep hitting that lever and making it go around and around and around. So I thought that was really fun. The other part that I made uh, is I, I took the, the spinning, the, st the spinning part of the uh, shoot and catch and I set that up. So this is all balanced with magnets somewhat uh, because I'm not on a really balanced surface. But what I tried to do is to get it to continue to move on its own after the momentum has been, I, I've set up the momentum so that it can continue to go. I put a couple of the magnetic balls here so that when they come around, they're either be re attracted or repelled as it goes. So that's why I put four arms on it instead of two, uh, because I wanted there always to be something that was coming at these magnetic, uh, magnetic pieces that would continue to make it move, uh, according to, you know, the way I, I spun it. So, you know, if I spin it a different way, this is all the momentum of me spinning. But when the momentum starts to, to slow down, what should happen is based on the magnets, the way that where they're placed, uh, they should all just kind of pull the pull the arms around uh, again and again and again. So as you can kind of see here, they'll start to pull out. Is as it gets um, slow slows down, you can kind of see the arms move a little bit towards the the magnetic ball, um, and it will continue to move itself just a little bit at a time. But I've been messing around with the height. So all of these little pieces, they can be stacked upon each other so that it gives it a little bit more height. And for some reason, I thought I had the height right, and then I didn't. And so I will put this up a little higher, but I don't want it high enough where it can grab, you know, magnetically, it can, it can, it can capt capture that, uh, that ball. Uh, so let's try that. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to pull towards that and then the next one pulls towards the next one and it, it'll continue on and on and on, but uh, it doesn't appear to be doing that. Now, it does give you one of these um, magnets that you can use to kind of direct things if you do it right. Um, and if I want to repel, you know, magnetically repel this, this will continue to move and I can get it going just based on the magnetic power. And that's what I was trying to do here with these, but 
I've got to play around with it a lot more. And it, it's nice because of that, because you can continue to try out new things and you can do some cool stuff with it. I, I found this fascinating and I think that my kids will too. And I think that your kids will, uh, ages seven and up, are going to really be fascinated with how the magnets work, how they can make things move. Like, I, I love this, the shoot where it just shoots out and it's too fast when it comes back around that I can't get it, you know, I can't get it ready for the next one. So I should just be able to, you know, it gets there and you just, and I, if I miss it, it doesn't, it doesn't get caught there. So there's all these different pieces. They're really interesting, uh, totally different way of building than I've ever done. And uh, we've got all the magnetic bars You've got things that'll move, things that'll that'll fly, that you know, you know, will shoot through. That you've got. Um, there's there's even like a thing where you know you can shoot things around and around and around and see which one it lands in, almost like a roulette wheel. So you can try to see you know what number it's going to hit uh, when you when you shoot something into that. Um, you know there are different uh, you know slides and stuff like that. There are. Uh, a bunch of magnetic balls, and they're a lot of fun to play with. I, I had a great time with this. Maybe I'm going to get it faster than all this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so each one of that jumps the ball over, and then it's ready to click again. So let me get a close-up of that and show you how that mechanism works. It's really, really cool. We're going to see if I'm quick enough to switch this back each time one of the magnetic balls comes through. So we've got to go up here to drop it in. So there it goes. Grabs that. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> and if I miss it, it goes down into here and we have a magnet to, to catch everything before it goes flying off. But Here's you know close up of the structure. Uh, this is the part that I tried to make to continue to move. Uh, you can kind of see the attraction uh, that the the magnetic balls are are doing to the other ones. Uh, there's a little bit of attraction where it continues to move, but then uh, it stops. And I do not think that my house is level either. So trying to level things out is a little bit difficult. But this is basically the structure that I built. Um, and I just, I just kept working at it and trying different things and trying different things. So I did work on it for oh, a good hour or so. Uh, building the first set, the magnetic track, probably only took me about half an hour. And then it was just tweaking and building other things that made it go even uh, longer. I'd like to thank the folks from Geomag once again for these free products so that we could add them to our holiday gift guide. This will give your kids hours of play just trying to figure out things with the magnets, how they can make things work. Can they make a perpetual motion machine? Can they make a uh, magnetic ball shoot through a track? Can they do all sorts of different things? That's what you can do with uh, these mechanic sets from Geomag. They're a lot of fun. and. I am, I am, I am thrilled. I, I spent a lot of time. I lost track of time because I was playing with this so much. Anyway, this is True Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as BenSpark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures. And you can find me here making videos all the time. Thanks for watching.